Hey, it's me, Symphonic, again. Um, right now, I'm going to show you where you can get the files for the R4 because I promised you guys that I was going to show you. But anyways, um, this is the box that it comes in. If it doesn't look like this, or if it's a different type of R4, then it's probably like a cheap knockoff or something. So you're probably going to want to make sure that it comes in this box. But at y'all store, they come in this box anyway. So, yeah. Um, now, let's see here. I have to type again. The There's a website that you can go to, just like the R4 website. But the thing is, like, because too many people, I mean, this is just me, but... Um, a lot of people download the games, like, for free from other websites, and but it's meant for, like, backing up your files. It's not actually meant for taking it for free and then just playing it, even though that's what everyone does, I mean, <laughs> until until they find either a way to sell games for, like, 50 cents each, then people are going to keep stealing them. But I do torrents because they're parts of files, not the full thing. So it's legal to do that and actually download it and keep it for yourself through torrents. But that's a whole other story. Anyways, if you open up your browser, I have to ugh, move. Okay. If you open up your browser, I use Opera because it's a great browser. But if you just type in HTTP colon slash slash www. Dot, this is really tedious. I'm sorry. Yallstore. dot com. dot com. Slash. Download. Now this will be a little bit more of a direct download because it, you can get it, like I said before, from the the R4 website, but like they're going to take it, they might end up taking it down because the firmware or because too many people are using it for the wrong reasons instead of backing up and sampling and all that good stuff. So they might end up taking it down and then the firmware won't be available anymore. So this is the most up-to-date firmware that you can get anywhere for the R4. Anyways, http colon slash slash www.yallstore.com slash down load slash r4ds dot html. Now, I'm going to click enter, and all that's going to pop up is that right there. Download for r4ds dot dlc, and download for r4 sdhc v1 kernel. Now, you don't want to do uh, that one. You don't want to do this one, the bottom one, unless you have a card that's over uh, 2 gigabytes, like I said in the other game. But the thing is, it still takes forever for the files to convert, so I still wouldn't do it. But anyways, you're going to want to click download for R4 DS disk. Let me do that really quick. And depending on if you have WinZip or WinRAR, that will pop up right there. And you just click Open with C, Programs File, one RAR. Just click Open it if you just want to get the files. But I recommend saving it because if you save it, then you can go back and re-download it if your files get corrupted for some reason. But unless you're, like, really, really in a rush and you accidentally delete something, then you won't really need to. Okay. You can make it anything you want. Uh, I'm just going to click Save it to... The, the desktop, but I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again. You just click Save, and then it'll save all the way through, and let me get to the files of what it will actually look like when you get it. Really quick. Um, menu... I don't know. You can just fast forward it if you're getting mad because I'm taking it forever. Again, I'm sorry. I'm new at this video making thing. I don't write like notes or anything. I just do what comes natural. Okay. Um. 
Okay. Ah, uh, there, okay. R4 firmware, there it is, my bad. Okay. When you get to this part, you're going to have four folders. One that says DS, uh, MSHL dot NDS. That's your Moonshell folder, like your little save thing. So you don't delete that and don't corrupt it. This one right here, it says DS menu. That's the menu kernel. So you got to put that one in there too. All four of these folders. And then there's Moonshell. That's the actual Moonshell. It's what lets you actually uh, play music on your DS. So if you're going to get an R4 and you want, and you don't have like an iPod or a Zune or anything else like that, then this is great for you. You just might have to get um, another card that has Moonshell on it because unless you have like only one or two games on it and then the rest you have music, then it's okay. But you might have to switch it up your playlist every once in a while. But anyways, that's dot, uh, the underscore system underscore folder. And that is what lets you actually like save all your stuff. It's pretty much the basic part of the firmware. But, uh, okay. Anyways, you double click system, you'll get your themes folder. Uh, there you go. You double click system, you'll get your ebook and your themes folder. Let me move that so that goes away. Okay. And that's your themes folder. When you go into themes, that's how you can uh, get different themes for your R4. Like instead of just like the ugly background with trees and playgrounds and stuff, <coughs> you, you'll see when you get it. It's, it's pretty horrendous. But, anyways, yeah, you can get new themes, put them in that folder, and you'll have new themes. But this video is getting kind of long and tedious, so I don't want to draw it out. But um, I will I might make another video showing you exactly how to put the themes in your folder. But <coughs> anyway, what you do is you put your R4 into the micro SD card reader. It comes with it, so you don't have to worry about buying it separately. You put your, your micro SD in there, inside the top of it, then you put it into the computer. You'll hear the doo doo or whatever it is. Um, then it'll probably be like drive F. Mine's drive F, but it depends. You just open that up with your card in it, and you drag all the way up all those folders. And then you click copy and paste. And you just paste all of those folders into the root of your your memory stick. That's all you need to do. And then it converts itself. It does everything because the R4 is a really cool mod chip that directly extracts it all. So you don't have to do any more stuff like that. Just drag and drop all four of the files into the root of the card and then you're good to go. You can do anything. And there are other homebrew applications like DS Organize. That is a great program. If you want a planner on the DS, it is the greatest thing that you're ever going to be able to get for the DS because it should have, I mean, if the thing had a touch screen, they should have put a planner on it. Anyways, I don't know what in the world they were thinking. I mean, they were probably just trying to make it, like, horrible the first time around so that then they could keep expanding it and expanding it like they're doing with the DSi, but I'll make another DSi review later. But anyways, I'm, I'm getting mad. I'm sorry. Whatever. <laughs> but pretty much that's how you do it. I'll make more videos on how to do certain things with the R4. Like, if you're having trouble with Moonshell, just ask me. I'll respond to you, or I'll make a video about doing certain things with Moonshell and all that good stuff. But, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how you put the most current firmware onto your R4. Thank you for watching. Rate and subscribe. Bye.